For the companies that adopt 3D printing or additive manufacturing, you just can't stop them from shouting loudly about the benefits. You don't need to make a mold, so you can uh, you don't have the startup costs uh, that you typically have in traditional manufacturing. Uh, secondly, you have a much more freedom of design, so the, 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 the design of the parts can become much more complex without an extra cost in, uh, in 3D printing. Um, and you also have certain uh, or serious supply chain benefits. Eh? So you can do local production, you are less prone to supply chain disruption. The first use cases of 3D printing were found in prototyping. Now, more customers are using the technology to make end-use parts. At Materialize, more than 50% of the parts we print are end-use parts, so are parts that are used in a machine or in a plane um, or as eyewear on your face, really as the end-use part, not as the prototype anymore. A big takeaway for our editorial team that took this jaunt to Belgium is that 3D printing is a lot more than just one technology, one material and one technique. There are many technologies, uh, there are many materials and most of the materials require a specific technology to process. Think about the difference between metals and plastics or ceramics or sand. So each of these technology or materials, material families require different uh, uh, machines. But even in one single material family in the plastics, there are multiple technologies that have their best uh, properties or, or give the best results. But also from an application perspective, there are different uh, requirements. Certain applications um, require, for example, a very uh, controlled process. I spoke about earlier of already about uh, implants. Now, of course, as a patient, you don't want the implant to break. So basically, as a manufacturer of implants, you really need to have a decent quality control in place to make sure that the, the product that you print, the implant that you print, complies with all the uh, specifications of the implants. As the technology becomes more available and more affordable, just how far can 3D printing take manufacturers in the future? I'm convinced that additive manufacturing will become an integral part of the production chain. Not for all components, but for a number of components. For plastic parts, for metal parts, even for ceramic parts. So it's, it is really growing into an established uh, production uh, technology. And so we watch on eagerly as companies such as Materialize and others uncover more from this bountiful new world of design engineering.